Labour has set out ambitious plans to provide free, full fibre broadband to every home and business in the country by 2030. Jeremy Corbyn says BC's open reach broadband business would be brought into public ownership and the ongoing cost of providing the service would be partly funded by a new tax on technology companies such as Facebook and Google. Boris Johnson has dismissed the proposal as a crazed communist scheme. Here's our political editor, Laura Koonsberg. Labour has a big giveaway it hopes to connect with you. Fast fibre broadband for everyone everywhere if they win within 10 years' time. Another big intervention in the market. Another expensive job for the state. Labour's money man is adding the internet to rail, water, energy and the mail he'd like to take into public hands. The way that we'll do it is if we're putting that scale of public money and taxpayers' money in, we want to ensure actually we own it as well and that means bringing parts of BT into public ownership. It's another big nationalisation yes, though, with a big price tag. Yep, and what we'll do in the normal way is we'll, first of all, we'll issue bonds for shares. And what we're doing is we're introducing a new tax. The ones that gain their incomes from the internet, the, the Apples, the Googles and the Amazons of this world. And in that way, we'll pay for the day-to-day -day costs. Whether you look at free broadband, free university fees, renationalisations, why should wealthy people in this country be entitled to free things? Because we believe we need a more equal society. And, you know, the best way of getting that benefit to everyone is to make sure you don't have hurdles like means testing and other matters. This is hard-nosed economics. If we do not get on and do this, we, will fall, we already are falling behind our global competitors and we will fall behind even for our future generations will not forgive us. Your critics, John McDonnell, might say, though, you're just addicted to spending other people's money. <laughs> not at all. Other countries are having these visions and we're not. We're being held back. If we don't do this, we'll be held back even further. Both of the main party leaders were on the stump in Lancashire today. Signs in, guys. Both stage managing the campaign, both battle buses now on the road. But the approach Boris Johnson's pursuing on the economy is very different. Can you, can you, all, can you all hear me? £5 billion pounds to subsidise expanding broadband. A huge programme of, of uh, investment in our roads, in telecoms, gigabit broadband, unlike the crazed crazed communist scheme uh, that was outlined uh, earlier on earlier on uh, today uh, we will give people uh, gigabit broadband by uh, 2025 with the quality of broadband achingly different in different corners of the country it matters in this campaign Scotland is ahead of the UK in terms of our current uh, performance in many respects, the improvements we've seen in broadband availability recently, but also in the scale of our ambitions. I've been to about 30 constituencies so far. Yeah. 30 down, many more to go. Perhaps more dramatic plans too. Yes, this is the third one, come on. But this time round, with these leaders and these parties, in this election, you cannot say they're all the same. Laura Kunzberg, BBC News. Well, there's been a hostile reaction to Labour's plans from broadband providers and the wider business community, with questions being raised about how much it would actually cost. Our business editor, Simon Jack, reports on how it could work and how it could be paid for. The UK has some of the slowest average broadband speeds in Europe. It even trails Madagascar, making life difficult for the people and businesses closer to home in Rocklands, Norfolk. We have trouble running the business. Sometimes the card machine, which is linked to the internet, is, is a problem. I was in Spain for 20 years and I lived in the most rural part of Spain that you can imagine. My, my internet speed was 100. I came here to Rocklands and my internet speed was one. If you've got families, everybody comes home from school, all the homework's done online now, you know, it, it makes it really, really tricky. You, children are not able to do their homework, people are not able to work from home. The average household broadband bill is £30 a month. Labour would make it totally free. But not to the taxpayer, who Labour estimate would pay £20 billion. But the Independent National Infrastructure Commission estimate it would cost £34 billion. 
So why is it so expensive? Well, at the moment, most of us get our broadband through a fibre optic cable, which then links to these old green cabinets where the existing slower copper network then takes over to do that last mile into our homes and businesses. Replacing all of that with individual fibre to every single property is something only 8% of the country enjoys at the moment. Doing the other 92 is one heck of a job. Openreach, BT's broadband division, has 32,000 employees and sells its services to other operators like Virgin Media and TalkTalk. Talk. If BT broadband will be free, other companies won't be able to compete, while taxing US companies to help pay for it risks putting them off Britain. Clearly, everyone would like to have things for free. You know, even if you classify broadband as a utility, you pay for all your other utilities because you have to have a return. So, you know, I think the cost of that provision is going to be huge and trying to levy that on taxes on other companies will not be popular, will not encourage investment in this country, which would just create investment uncertainty. Labour say they hope to come to an arrangement with BT's competitors, and if they can't, they may nationalise them too. Melvin, it's me. Do you know anything about this BT share offer? Hey? Eh? Millions of people own shares in BT, either directly since privatisation in the 1980s or through their pension funds. Labour say Parliament will decide how much they'll get for them, meaning savers and pensioners may get less than market value. All parties agree that faster broadband is essential. That's where the agreement ends. Simon Jack, BBC News. Let's take a look at some of today's other election news. The Liberal Democrats say they would invest heavily in tackling climate change if they're elected to power. They want to spend £100 billion over five years in areas such as clean energy and transport and home insulation. And they reiterated their decision not to go into any kind of coalition in the event of a hung parliament. The Green Party, meanwhile, has pledged to introduce a universal basic income by 2025 to replace the current universal credit system. It would see every adult receiving a minimum of £89 per week, and they say it would be funded through taxation.